<clears throat> Hi, my name is Jamie Breesmeister, and I am in technical reporting online. And today is October 19th, and I am doing my mechanism description on the blender. So let's get started. <clears throat> the blender is a small kitchen appliance used for blending food and drinks. It was invented in 1922 by Stephen Poplowski. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> um, in 1922, it was invented. Um, over the years, there have been many different types, styles, and grades of blenders invented, ranging from really cheap to really expensive. And the two main types of blenders are the stick blender and the counter blender. Okay, quick intermission. Um, the function of the blender is to blend food and drinks. It's to chop things kind of in a coarse uh, consistency for maybe salsa or uh, pico de gallo or something like that. Um, it's for mixing and blending drinks in a pureed form or just to chop the ice a little bit. Um, it's used in household kitchens, restaurants, bars, use them for mixing drinks like pina coladas or margaritas or any kind of drink like that. Um, I use it in at work in the nursing home for pureeing food for people who can't chew or swallow. Oh, it's not funny, but I just, <laughs> I get silly on camera, sorry. <laughs> um, anyways, it's for people who puree, or I puree the food for the people with swallowing difficulties at work. Um, it helps them to swallow the food. Um, also, uh, in my research, I found out that vitamin companies use it to make vitamins and supplements. They blend a whole bunch of different stuff together and they put it in a capsule. So basically, blenders are located in homes, kitchens, bars and restaurants, and some vitamin companies. Probably other companies too. So, the parts of a blender. The parts of a blender are... The jar, which is the main base, it's like plastic or it can be glass. Um, glass would be kind of weird. I would think it would be better to be plastic in case you drop it. That's the, like the cup, um, basically, for placing food and liquid inside. The jar base is what you set the jar on and it kind of locks into place. I think there's like a it's like a round unit that sticks up from the base so the jar kind of attaches onto it. Um, there's the blades. I think there's usually two or three blades is that are on the bottom of the base. So it's kind of like inside the base on the bottom of the blender. And they'll spin around when the blender is turned on. The gasket is a rubber ring that sits between the jar and the blades and it prevents the liquid from leaking or spilling. It's kind of like a plug. Um, the base is the heart of the unit. It's that big like that sits, that everything kind of sits on. It's like the heavy part of the blender. 
that houses the motor and the speed controls. And it's also the base to where the jar and the jar base and blades sit. So it's like the big like couch and then this is the person. It's a bad analogy. <laughs> Anyways, um, then there's a lid and the lid gets placed on top of the blender jar. Is That would be a really bad accident if it didn't have a lid. Because I took the lid off once before the blender was done and I got food flu in my eye so it's safety hazard if you don't have the lid on so I recommend always having a lid on on the jar the cord there's a cord that comes out of the um, base plugs into the an electrical to an electrical outlet the motor is inside the base um, the more powerful the motor the longer the blade will last the longer the whole system will last the speeds of the blade and motor range from 500 to 20,000 RPMs, depending on the price. The cheaper the blender, probably the lower the speed, the more expensive the blender, the higher the speed. And different speed settings on the base range from liquefy to chop. So it, there's a long range of them that creates different consistencies with the food and drinks. So basically, um, blenders are a simple and effective kitchen appliance. Uh, they make my life easier at home and at work. Uh, they make it possible to do all sorts of things to food and drinks in a short amount of time. One of the best things a blender makes is smoothies. Smoothies can be made using all kinds of fruit and vegetables and they kind of, to me, they make things taste better. You want to, it's easier to drink a bunch of vegetables if, you know, it's all together in one kind of drink form. I don't know if that makes sense. Anyways, um, liquids and water-based foods such as like zucchini or tomatoes, um, Things with heavy water content, those are easier to blend. Um, they, they liquefy easily. Maybe too liquidy if that's not the consistency you're going for. So sometimes you'd want to add a bread product or just even bread. And it kind of absorbs the water to thicken it up. Um, but if you're looking to liquefy things... Obviously, liquids and water-based foods are easier to do that with. Um, bread products uh, are hard because they absorb so much of the water. A lot of times when you're trying to blend or puree or liquefy or do anything with any kind of starch in it, um, you have to add hot water. Otherwise, it soaks up into one clump. Um, typically, the uses for blenders are, I would say, blended drinks and smoothies and um, certain meals uh, require a blender. Or it, you know, makes it easier to blend um, faster using a blender. Um, blenders can be very affordable. Mine was a decent price, 20 to 30 bucks, and it's lasted a long time. They have many uses, and I would highly recommend buying a blender if you don't have one. Um, and that is it. Uh, thank you. That was my lovely story on blenders and how they work and I hope um, my viewers learned something about blenders and thank you and have a nice night